Let me show you our method of dealing with patients who aren't paying you. Uh, after we've already sent three or four statements or two or three statements, kind of whatever you decide, and you're not getting any response, then it's time to do something else. And that's what this video is going to show you. So if I look over here in imaging, I can see the statements that we sent. Now these were all sent on the same day because I'm making this up. But typically you're going to send a statement out once a month for two or three or four months in there and then decide to do something else. So I'm going to go to the account right here. If you go up to the quick procedures and go to the drop down, you can see we've got these collection procedures set up in here. So when I do the first collection procedure, it's going to set it complete. I'm going to click on it and it created the letter automatically. Okay, now this would normally have the patient's address and so forth in here. So I'm just going to say go ahead and print this because it should be all ready to go. And, and we also get this pop-up. Okay, so two things happened. I got the letter and I got a pop-up which says to change the billing type to pre-collections. And the reason is because we do not want to send statements to this patient anymore. We're done with that. We've sent the statements. They're not paying. Now it's time to do something else. We're doing our collection procedures. So what does this mean? I'm going to close that. I'm going to go into the family module. I'm going to double click over here on this side. And I'm going to change the billing type right there to pre-collections. Okay. So now this, is count, this account is kind of flagged as a bad debt. Okay, so now what do I do? I wait three weeks, two weeks. I wouldn't wait a full month. And I come back in time to do something else. You notice that collection procedure is right in there. And it's also over in the chart, okay, along with the letter itself. So let's go back here. Now we're going to go to collection procedures too here. I'm going to go back up here. Going to go here. Now in this case, only one thing happens. It creates this letter. And this letter is different than the first letter. Okay, none of these letters are terribly nice. But this one's not quite as nice as the first one. Okay, go ahead and we'll print that. Nothing else happens. There's no pop-ups or anything. So now we go along here and another uh, two or three weeks goes by and still nothing from the patient. So now we're going to go with a nuclear option. We're going to go up here and go to Collection Procedures 3. Now, a bunch of things happen when we do Collection Procedure 3. I'm going to click on that. Here's this letter, um, kind of nasty letter here. And obviously, these can be edited. So I'll just say OK there. Here's a pop-up that's telling you all these things that you need to do. You want to get rid of this balance. I'm going to adjust off this balance as a bad debt. I want to make sure that family members don't have any future appointments. I can send this account to a collection agency or whenever decide, you decide to do about it. But let's make sure we change the uh, balance, I'm sorry, the billing type to bad debt and write off the balance. So now we want to get rid of this balance in there. So I'm going to go to adjustments and I'm going to do a bad debt right here and I'm going to do it for 425 and best to put my initials down here okay so now he has a zero balance all right so we sent the third collection letter we already wrote this off doesn't mean he can't come back if he comes back he has to pay 425 dollars but a couple other things happened in here if I go back to the family module here You'll notice that the recalls are disabled and that because we don't want to send recall notices to a patient that just had a bad debt. Um, and the reason that happened is over here, if I double click on it, it changed the patient status to inactive. It did this automatically when you did that collection three procedure. So it made the patient inactive. When a patient is inactive, it disables the recalls. Now, if the patient comes back, okay, they paid their bill, they apologized, they're coming back, and we make them a patient again, okay, then the recalls come back. 
The other thing that happened though, is if I go into the appointment book here and I try to make an appointment for that patient, okay, there's the patient, I get this message. Okay, it says, hey, patients they can't make any appointments, they're restricted. What's that mean? Let's go back here, double click on this guy, and that little box right up at the top is checked automatically when you do that collection procedure three. So again, I told you this was the nuclear option, okay? We're not going to take this patient back unless they give us that $425 and we'll have to do an offsetting charge if they do come back to keep their balance zero. All right, so again, the collection procedure through three is the nuclear option where all these things happen in there and we don't want this patient back.